good morning students we had completed the prose the priceless gift and now i think we are going to read the um, non detail the trunk of ganesha and you know in our uh, society a lot of uh, beliefs just like superstition or blind beliefs exist uh, in our mind and which uh, create a lot of problems in our life just like you might have known uh, we are avoided to see the face in a broken mirror that is considered as bad luck enters into our home similarly a cat while riding a vehicle when a black cat go across the vehicle <coughs> the it is uh, considered as the uh, symbol of bad luck and we <coughs> believe it most of the people in our society believe it and they stop their vehicle there and after a while they again start their journey similarly before starting a journey uh, when we see an empty pot <coughs> carrying by a woman in our street and it is also considered as uh, the bad luck so if the pot is full of water and we consider we accept it as uh, good luck and uh, good wish for our journey that is a good symbol for our journey so similarly a lot of superstitions exist in our uh, society and in this situation i am going to cite an example a real true example once the medical students had a discussion among themselves they always uh, uh, work with dead bodies so they have no fear in their mind still there was a challenge among a group of medical students <coughs> who can hit a nail on the wall of the post mortem room which is just at a, a short di distance from the uh, hostel so one of the students among them agreed to go and hit the nail on the post mortem uh, room uh, wall and uh, he went to hit the nail and you know while going to hit the nail on the wall he carried the fear that exist in his mind about the superstitions about the ghosts and devils that he had heard or that he had read from books so in fear he was looking at the at his friends and he was going forward and looking at his friends again and going forward in this way he went looking at his friends he hit the nail on the wall and immediately tried to return back to his friends at that time he felt that somebody pulled him from behind and he was uh, in heart attack he died there so the friends when he didn't return after a while the friends went to the spot and they found their friend was dead there and what happened that uh, while uh, hitting the nail he hit the sleeve of his shirt on the uh, wall and while uh, returning back to the to his friends he felt that somebody pulled him behind although we some of the people believe in superstitions some do not believe in superstition still the fear regarding the ghosts and devils and uh, uh, superstitions uh, live or uh, exist in our mind so we cannot avoid them so now we are going to read the <coughs> lesson the trunk of ganesha uh, i will send you the page uh, in whatsapp and you see it carefully attentively it was just one of those days when nothing seemed to go right for gobind marana once again there was this unhappy incident which kept bothering him 
At sunrise, he finished his bath in the courtyard and took a glass of tea from his wife's hand. His fingers suddenly slackened and the glass slipped from his hand. It was his first conscious knowledge of the fear he carried. The superstitions haunted him throughout his life. This day, there was a special reason for his gloomy, tense manner, for it was the third day in succession that such a thing had happened. Gobind had learned the trait from his father, as had his father, from his father's father, the substance of the art of idol making, the Durgas and the Ganeshas and the Shivas. Perhaps I have no right, he told his wife, to meddle with the private lives of gods. That is why they are angry. Perhaps I have been of late using my power too carelessly. And the icons I have been making are not exactly those my father would have made in his time. Sulotana looked at her husband with frightened eye. Perhaps he was right, she thought. But maybe he was growing older and his hands and eyesight were not as strong as before. You must be tired working without a break, she said, or words betraying her simplicity. You know what day it is. He studied her for a moment and continued, and I am already late on the last connection. What had gone wrong? He could not understand. Making an image was child's play for him. Only in this case, the idol was somewhat larger than most. The trunk a little heavier, a triple longer, that was all. Perhaps the clay he had been using was just uh, that measure, sort of its adhesive quality, which makes for a smooth, tight binding. But it was the same clay he had been using for years. For innumerable images he had perfected and sold. Then why the sudden tear at the point where the elephant trunk took a turn and shone gently downward? Was the weight too heavy for the clay mold of the images best to support it? Sulatuna didn't want to question him about his work. For she knew that he was one of the best image maker in the whole valley. Gobind Mahana's images, it is hard to find better work than his. She had heard the townsfolk often say, he was one of the few excellent craftsmen left and she nursed her pride in secret. And yet some inner voice hammered at her. Was it because he had asked for a better price? A rather exorbitant one. Then what was considered reasonable for an image of that size? She was convinced that her husband was a righteous man, but was not it possible that his seeming greedy uh, had angered the unknowns? So this is the first part of the uh, story, the trunk of Bonisa. I have uh, collected some difficult words for you and the meaning is given on the white board you can see here. Superstition means blind belief. Bothering, worrying. Slacken, loosen. Conscious, aware or aware or sensible, gloomy, hopelessness, middle, interfere, haunt came frequently to one's mind, icons means idols or images, betray came to believe and untruth, triple slide or considered insignificant, innumerable, uncountable, townsfolk means town people. After uh, the meanings, I would advise you to read the first part 
twice silently yourself <coughs> hope you might have completed reading now i am going to tell you the gist or summary of the first part gobind mana was an excellent idol maker in the whole valley making an idol was just a child's play for him he had learned the trade of idol making from his father and his father from his father's father one morning while he was taking a glass of tea from his wife's hand it slipped gobind thought that it had happened because the fear that he carried and such incidents happened in his life continuously for three days he told his wife that he committed a mistake interfering in the private lives of gods he told his wife sulochana that it had happened due to the anger of gods and goddesses as he interfered in the private lives but sulochana thought differently she thought that such incidents happened in her husband's life because he had grown older and his eyesight become weak but gopi dumana could not know why the trunk of ganesha was breaking mysteriously he wondered how the tear appeared at the point where the elephant trunk took a turn he thought it had happened as the idol was large one and the trunk was a triple happier for which the clay mold didn't support the trunk sulochana had no doubt about the work of her husband as she knew that her husband was one of the best craftsmen in the whole valley again in the next moment she thought that such incidents happened as perhaps her husband demanded on reasonable price for the large ganesha <coughs> hope you do understand and clear regarding the first part of the story the trunk of ganesha i would send you the questions hope you will answer the questions yourself we will meet in the next class for the second part of the story the uh, trunk of ganesha thank you